biggest hit was with R. Kelly. Hotel. Um, did you guys actually do that in the studio together, or did he just send the hook and give it to you? No, we. I, I actually went to Chicago. Um, um, back in the day, me, Swiss, and Gravy, we actually went out there, and um, we was in the studio with him, and he did the hook. He did the hook. He did a lot of singing on it, not just the hook. He did a lot more singing. That's why we was able to do the hotel remix and all of that stuff. He laid all of that at the same time. Like, you know what I mean? A bunch of different hooks and different shit that we had to play with and, and fuck with. So after we got that, then me and Swiss, I went back to my hotel and that's when I started writing the song, putting it together. Uh, how old were you at the time when that happened? I mean, you guys put that together? Um, when, when, I, when I made Hotel, I think I was probably like 20. Okay. 20 years old. Around, yeah, around that time. Okay. For some reason, I thought you were a little younger, but okay. Um, yeah, I got a record deal. When I was um 17 years old, that's when I got my first right. deal. And I was with Rough Riders for a few years. Then I got with Swiss. Then I got my J deal when I started working and putting it together. So I probably made Hotel when I was like 20. And then I think it dropped when I was 21. Got it. When you see everything that's happening with R. Kelly now, with surviving R. Kelly and everything else like that, and since you guys are, are connected you know, essentially forever because of how big that song was. What are your thoughts about it? Um, I got a lot of thoughts about it. It's just, it's hard to get into that. But I just know the man never been convicted. He innocent. But the things that he accused of and the things, it's just like a crazy situation, huh? I don't know, man. I, I ain't really like that Survivor R. Kelly. It just like, cause I love his music so much. Like I was always a fan. Fuck with his music heavy. Even before I thought about becoming a rapper, I was riding around in the hood with with my old heads, listening to R. Kelly. Like he been had it on Smash. So when I heard that, and you start listening to his lyrics and thinking about if it's true, it start making you second guess whether you should like his music and it start making you feel funny. So I ain't really like the situation. But I just want people to know, like, me and R. Kelly, like, you know what I'm saying? I did that song when I was young. J Records and Swiss and all of them put it together and set it up. But that was the only time I met Kells. I think we made it. I was supposed to meet him again, but that's the only time I met him. It's not like we got a relationship or we friends or I know if those accusations is true or not or if I seen any signs of it. Like, I, I don't even know the ball like that, so... I don't know, you know what I mean? Like you said, the only thing we got is the song, that connection. So that's why I felt connected to him for all of this time, but not because we got a relationship where I really know him like that. Well, well didn't you say, I think it was our last interview, that uh, you gave him some guns when he was having issues that know, was during the that Jay-Z tour? I, that was the second time I was supposed to meet him. I was supposed to perform the song with him for the first time. Like, I never performed the song. You can never see me performing the song with him. So that was the first time I was supposed to come out, actually, and do the song with him. But that's when the issue happened that night, and it all went down. So I ain't see him. I told you I gave it to his peoples. I never seen him that night. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the whole shit happened. I was supposed to perform with him, but I ain't see him. So that was going to be my next time seeing him from when we did the song. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, and that tour was a big train wreck <laughs> at the end of the day. Uh, I interviewed a public announcement. One of the guys was actually there during the whole macing incident and stuff like that. Well, that night, um, somebody had enough of the lateness of the all the rest of the stuff that was happening. And it was, the show had already started. They did some things. And there's an exit where you go off stage go change clothes and come back on. Well, at that point, I wasn't needed for another 30 minutes. So I went back to my dressing room and there were um, well-known New York artists in the dressing room where I was just chilling. So I'm sitting in the room, chilling, waiting for my time to come back on. I'm looking at my watch and, you know, somebody's going to come and cue me. Hey, Rick, go back out. And all of a sudden you hear screaming. And it was brought to my attention that Rob had been injured. So they rushed him out. 
Then they rushed me out to the tour bus and we headed out. Now he's in his dress room. He's in the back room. I'm in the front of the tour bus and we're just going. We're racing down the highway trying to get away. Only to find out that he had been um, pepper sprayed or something like that so that he couldn't go back on stage to finish doing whatever he was doing. Yeah, so you I know, a major to tour. That night. Like when I came in, we went to where we was at, where we was posted up at, and then his homies ran up and it was commotion. Then we handed them the shit and then that's how it went. But I, ain't, I didn't see him that night. And because it got shut down, I never got to see him. 